A new monster type enters the world of the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Make sure you guys smash your little button, subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. So every time Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s does something that can ripple the actual trading card game, it's always worth talking about because this is still part of the Yu-Gi-Verse. So, they got a new mechanic and they got a new monster type. And the fact that they got a new monster type says large amounts of volumes for stuff that we can once again expand on. So don't be surprised if Master Duel sees something like this because this is very viable. So we're going to explain the new arc or the new mechanic here and then we'll go into a another layer of this. So this is a new spell card called Fusion. All right, and don't let this fool you. All right, up until this point, Rush Duel didn't have anything like this. So, requirement none uh, send face up monsters you control to the graveyard as material for a fusion summon. Well, that's pretty basic stuff there, but what ends up happening here is unlike fusion summon in the official card game, which is dubbed, uh, what is it, Yugo Shokan, yes. Rush Duel's version is a mechanic called Fusion Shokan. It's similar, but not quite the same thing. So there's this. Now right, you're probably looking at this and you're like, well, Robbie, like, that's just like a, a Joker clown. Like, what, what do we care about this too much? So, Yudo's fusion-based ace monster, whose name is currently unknown, all right, is stated as being a cyborg-type monster, and in comparison, or yeah, is compared to a machine or a cybers type. So here's here's the interesting thing about this. They basically decided that we wanted to basically finally pull something here for machine and cybers and give us a new type. But the thing that interests me most about this is technically a cyborg. Uh, depending on your, your classification, like if you want to like really break it down to like an android level event here, is sometimes it's human to a degree, sometimes it's machine to a degree. So I can only imagine that if we are going to actually create an android based concept here for this, or a cyborg type monster, what we're going to have to go through and rename, because typically when Konami introduces a new archetype like this, all right, or a new subsection of the game, there's usually a literal crap ton of revisions that need to be made back to previous cards. To be fair, we also thought that Jinzo would become a psychic monster back in the day, but they just kind of left him remain as this. So, looking forward to this, all right, if we are going to truly add this into Master Duel, I'm actually not opposed to having a new type of monster enter the fray. It's a lot of people are like, well, Robbie, you know, truthfully, we do have too many monster types. No, I don't think we have enough. Truthfully, being able to add more and more, more and more types of monsters into the game means that that's more and more archetypes of monsters that we can explore further down the line. All right, do not underestimate creative development department for Konami. All right, they need this. If Magic the Gathering can print out all of these planeswalkers, all of these, uh, oh man, the indestructible cool guys, man, the indestructible cool guys, the uh, Eldrazi's, yes, those. Like, Konami can officially create something to that level. You know, seeing the fact that Rush Duels is literally... The, you know, like the little subsection of Yu-Gi-Oh where they can kind of experiment with, you know. I loved the concept of the three boss, or the three monsters that you could slap together into one big boss monster. I still think that they need to bring that to actual Yu-Gi-Oh at this point in time, man. Like, let a person combine three cards in their hand, all right? Is it, you're going to have to come up with, like, some ruling of, like, indestructibility or something. Because, like, if Pokemon has this concept, yeah, it might not be super competitive to a degree. But it goes to prove that Yu-Gi-Oh! has so many layers of things that they can explore for future card design, all right? Like, Magic has Planeswalkers, which, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! I guess could still explore Deckmasters. The problem is Yu-Gi-Oh! as a card game <laughs> overall um, technically does have a lot going on for it. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Master Duel is so complicated that, yeah, it does intimidate new players to want to sit down and play, but... 
you know, if as long as they keep the current mechanic fresh and say bling summoning is the dominant force in the game, which it is right now, everything else is just kind of like a subsection that you can kind of pick up along the way, which I think is fine. All right. Like if you're a new player coming into the game and you see, oh my God, like cyborg monsters, like I, I want to play because cyborg monsters and they start emphasizing cyborg monsters and cyborg link monsters, something like that then you're going to be more inclined to want to keep an eye on now those types of monsters because, oh, hey, you know, that's the newest thing. Fusions, synchros, exceed monsters, all of that can come up later on along your journey of learning how to play this game. You know, as long as you start with the one basic latest mechanic, you can definitely wheedle your way in through that. So that's a right step in the right direction. So will this come to the actual trading card game? This frickin' better. I I think at this point in time, the fact that the fact that cyborg is like such a generic term. Uh, this actually, we could just make a couple of sets just based on having like a cyborg ace monster for the deck. I I don't know. I feel like this would just be wasted potential if Konami just threw this in the dirt. Like they've already shown us, like I said, two potential mechanics and things that we can do from rush tools that we can apply to the actual trading card game that will not affect, you know, player's learning curve. Like I said, the ability to stop three monsters together, all right, and summon them at the same time, sure, that's not going to be that hard, right? You just have to make a very simple ruling. That shouldn't intimidate anybody too much, right? I mean, I guess if they get intimidated, then whatever. Like, they've never seen Pokemon or anything like that. And then to add in another archetype, it would be no different than when Psychic Monsters entered the fray, right? It's been... How long has it been since Psychic Monsters actually came to the game? And Cybers? Like... How long has it been, technically? I don't know. I guess maybe you could argue that maybe Cyverse is... Cyverse and Androids can fight in the same unit. I don't know. You, you might have to also, like, think forward here and, like, what about if, like, a Cyverse monster and, you know, a machine monster need to overlap with Psyche monsters? Do we have to put, like, special restrictions on these so that they can work with this? Like, I guess the, the question is, like, you have to think about how you're designing a cyborg archetype and how it would compare with other lines of support, how the lines would work. I don't know, there's a lot of interesting thinking that's going to have to come into that process. So, still waiting on my red cards, by the way. Konami, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but uh, if you guys could just print those red cards already, that would be very nice, all right? I don't know what we do. We're still missing a deck master archetype, combination of all monsters from Pokemon, a monster that stands outside of the monster zone that can generate skills for you. Uh, it's almost like that's the speed duel skill cards. Yu-Gi-Oh! as a game can grow, man. I think that's the most important thing to take away from this video, all right? Like, we always constantly look at this game and we're like, oh my god, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is complicated enough as it is, but adding a cyborg archetype to the game would do very little besides increase creativity. I almost wonder what, every time I think of Cyborg, I always think of uh, the guy from the DZ or DC universe, Cyborg, well, Cyborg himself. I, that's my, my classic thing here. Is it technically a warrior monster? Well, it's it's half machine, half warrior, but what more can they, they really do? I don't know, but in terms of Konami's creative department, I'm very intrigued. So guys, what do you think about the potential for a cyborg archetype. What do you think we could do with this? Do you think that we need to pull other things from rush tools at this point? Do you think that the overall potential to kind of mess around with more archetypes or more types of monsters wouldn't be a bad thing? Do you think Yu-Gi-Oh should explore more originality in that department? Like Magic kind of pulled Eldrazi out of their butthole and you know basically created that as their awesome monster subsection for them but technically the best thing that Yu-Gi-Oh has got in that department is literally the Egyptian gods but like those are just three monsters and we never really explored more of that option tree along the way you know everything's been name archetype based but you know we never it, types have kind of gone down the wayside as of late besides you know unless you're a warrior or you know all that other stuff maybe maybe diversifying more types wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing for the game. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Smack the revolution crap out of subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. And yeah, I'm definitely excited to see where this will go. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day, right? Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, 
I would probably be doing truffle shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.